In 1916, a black scientist named St. Elmo Brady became the first African American to earn a PhD in chemistry. Brady unlocked doors to scientific innovation that would inspire countless black scholars. Born in 1884 in Louisville, Kentucky, Brady was a boy from a modest family navigating a world that rarely celebrated black intellect. Nevertheless, Brady got into Fisk University in Nashville, Tennessee, and earned a Bachelor of Science degree in chemistry in 1908 with honors. This turned heads and opened unexpected doors. But Brady wasn't content with just learning. He wanted to teach and innovate. Next, he joined the faculty at Tuskegee Institute in Alabama from 1908 to 1912. There, he honed his skills teaching chemistry and even caught the eye of George Washington Carver, the peanut wizard himself, who became a mentor and friend. Next, Brady ventured north to the University of Illinois at Urbana-Champaign in 1912, a predominantly white institution where he faced isolation and skepticism. He earned his Master of Science in Chemistry in 1914, diving deep into organic compounds that would later redefine acidity measurements. In 1916, under the guidance of Professor Clarence Derrick, Brady defended his groundbreaking doctoral thesis titled The Divalent Oxygen Atom, which explored how oxygen atoms influence the acidity of carboxylic acids, a pivotal contribution to organic chemistry that laid foundational knowledge for future developments in pharmaceuticals and materials science. Brady returned to Tuskegee in 1916 as head of the Division of Science until 1920, where he revolutionized the curriculum by introducing rigorous lab work and research methods. This helped turn students into problem solvers who could tackle real-world challenges like agricultural improvements through chemical analysis. He later joined Howard University in 1920, where as chair of the chemistry department until 1927, he built from scratch a state-of-the-art program, securing funding for modern equipment and establishing both undergraduate and graduate tracks that produced dozens of black chemists, effectively creating a pipeline for African-American talent in a field starved of diversity. Brady chaired the chemistry department at Fisk University for an astonishing 25 years until his retirement in 1952. Brady didn't just teach. He orchestrated a symphony of science, founding the nation's first graduate chemistry program at a historically black college or university. With a keen eye for cutting-edge tech, he pioneered the use of infrared spectroscopy in education by securing a hefty grant in the 1940s to install one of the earliest such instruments at an HBCU, allowing students to peer into molecular structures and sparking innovations in analytical chemistry that echoed into biotechnology and environmental science. Brady later moved to Tougaloo College in Mississippi in 1952, continuing to mentor until his passing in 1966.